Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today, we're going to be putting to the test, we're going to review this dash cam. It's from Walmart. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. Today, we've got this. It's called Black Web. This is a dash cam we bought at Walmart for 20 bucks. Now you guys know we have one that we bought an as seen on TV one for 20 bucks and it, it just kind of sucks. The it's pixelated, the the sound does not it's not synced with the uh video, you know, the audio is not synced. So we thought we'd just try this. I mean, it's cheap enough, 20 bucks. It's wide angle video dash cam. HD recording with instant video save, which our other one doesn't have that. So you can just push a button on this, and it'll it will save the uh, the video. So that's that's cool because it it does um, it will it, it will do continuous recording. It's HD video recording in 12 megapixel stills, so we can take still images with this as well. Uh, 120 degree wide angle lens for full windshield coverage uh, continuous recording with instant video save button so yeah it does have continuous recording so if you see something and you want to save it just push a button it'll save that that video clip so that way you don't have like our other one you got to go through like say she's working for 12 hours I gotta go through 12 hours of stuff if she caught something that happened in the morning kinda sucks this I won't have to do that uh, gravity sensor automatically saves the video before, during, and after sudden braking or collision events. That's good. If somebody pulls out in front of her and she hits them, it'll automatically save that clip. So that's good. Integrated microphone, speaker, and a one and a half inch LCD display. If you hear something in the background, that's Monkey. She's editing a video for you. Um, spoiler alert. It has something to do with her little uh, Christmas present. Her her little oven so uh, what's it called huh mm -hmm. easy bake easy bake oven mm -hmm. so she's got it up and running she's uh she's over there on the couch editing her video right now as we speak so keep an eye out for that she'll have that up shortly and uh, quick and clean suction cup mounting includes 12 volt car charger micro USB power cable and it also has an 8 gigabyte micro SD card included now we know 8 gigs doesn't hold a lot but it doesn't have to if you're continuously recording so let's go ahead and open this up and see what's in here well we kinda know what's in here but let's check it out Now, it's nighttime right now, it's like 11 o'clock, so when you see this video, the lighting's going to be different, and I'll probably have something else on. That's because I'm doing the unboxing part of it tonight, and then I'll do the, uh, we'll do the uh, actual review, see how, how well it works tomorrow in the truck. That way I can fiddle fart around with it while she's driving. So, there's what we get inside so far. So here is the, um, the USB cable. It's like yeah, it's like a little phone cable, so you can uh, upload your videos and charge it, and whatnot. Here is the suction cup. It's real similar to the one we have in the truck right now. At your mount. Here is the. Uh, the car charger you plug it in just like you would that USB and then you just plug this into your cigarette lighter or your uh, uh, power source in your vehicle so this I'm guessing I can charge this camera with the computer as well so that's good now let's go ahead and pull this out and look at the camera itself and of course we have we have our uh, guide, our little instruction guide, Black Web. I've never heard of this company, so I don't know anything about it. Like I said in my last video, we, we buy all our stuff. No, no one gives us uh, 
you know, we don't, we don't get anything given to us to check out for them or anything like that. So, yes, it does already have the memory cord is already in it. And... Cool. Looks like a camera. And there's the back of it. And I'll have to check this out. Had it upside down. There we go. It will it will run in uh, 1080p, which is high def. It also will run in. Um, where did I see that? It'll run 720p at 30 frames per second, or 1080p upscaled at 25 frames per second. So that'll be a better quality. Our other camera is just a 720p. It's still con considered high high def HD whatever but you guys have seen clips from that and it, it's not the greatest you can't hardly see anything but so this is this is cool and this is how this goes on this will go on Let's see that. goes in like this there we go it's got that little slot you stick that in there then you put your suction cup on then you adjust the tightness of this of how tight you want this so it doesn't move on you see so that's you know it'll actually be in the car the truck like that against the, in the windshield so uh, I'm gonna read up on this a little bit and then I'll get right back with you in just a minute hang tight guys Okay guys, so I've done some reading up on this thing. It does have night vision, which is that button right there. Uh, you can also take still images with this, and you can also use this as a webcam for your PC or laptop. So that is pretty cool. And yes, it will film in 1080p. So. That is awesome. It's got all kinds of different things. This thing does all kinds of stuff. Like I said, if you have a crash, <coughs> excuse me, it will immediately lock that video clip so you don't have to worry about trying to, you know, save it and everything then. So that's that's a pretty good idea. All right, so I'll show you some um, video footage with this thing and um, we'll take it out to the truck in the morning and we'll drive it around and see what's going on see how it works okay so stick with us and we'll be back with you in a minute okay guys we are in the truck and we got this in here and I got this loose for a reason because I'm gonna try something and it's plugged into that and this only comes on when we start the truck up but it says it will see it's recording right now It says it'll automatically save a video clip like if you're in an accident because of the inertia. So let's try something here. Now that should have saved. Now if you see something and you want to save it manually, you hit that center button. And there's a little key icon right there that saved that for me. So, all right, now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up. And what we gotta do is, her mom went to the hospital today. She wasn't feeling well. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go and, uh, so we gotta go get her truck so she can take her back home. And I gotta follow in this truck so we can drop it off, so. I figured, well, now's a good chance to check it out because it's been a couple of days since I've done anything on this. So, the next footage you sh you see will be the footage coming from this dash cam.
Okay, guys, so there you have it for the black web um, dash cam. Uh, what I wanted to mention was I found out who actually makes this Walmart sells it. It's a uh, it says black web on it. That's not who actually uh, the corporation for this is Craig. If you guys know anything about electronics and stuff, Craig, like your TV, your stereo, uh, boombox, they also make cameras. And it is uh, made by the Craig Corporation. So, um, but, okay, the cons. First of all, I tried to get it to set it to um, uh, motion detection. And you can turn the motion detection on, but as soon as you click out a menu, it shuts it off. So I'm going to have to call customer support on that and find out why it won't stay on motion detect. Number two, the con is it is night vision, but there is no difference in night or dark. You can, you can hit the button. To where you know you got a sun as for daytime you hit the button for nighttime and it shows the moon and right here that IR light will kick on but I don't know if the filter is not changing or if it's just a gimmick or whatever but that light will come on in night mode but it makes no difference it's completely black Unless you are in a heavily lighted area like you know in town or uh, at a gas station or something like that or there's a lot of traffic lights and and stuff like that but as far as night if you come up on a dark road like our road it shows nothing it shows nothing um, the uh, audio which you've seen I did it with and without the audio um, I found out that I did. I remembered. Uh, Monkey reminded me. I had the window down when this was on. So if you have your windows down, the audio is not going to be worth the crap. So, but I mean, it does pick up well if in other conditions. So, yeah. So um, those are the two cons I have with it. As far as clarity, it is 1080p. I do like the clarity of it. As you've seen, when it started getting into low light, it still picked, picked up pretty good. Uh, so it's full screen. I can go one step higher than that um, on the 1080. I forget what's, what's next up. This is a 1080 by 1920. It'll go another one up from that, um, which I haven't tried, but, you know, I'm just thinking for 19.95, I am I'm very satisfied with it. It is going to get a two thumbs up for me, so it's going to get um, two bear claws for me. Well, actually, say out of five, I'm going to give it three and a half bear claws because of the two cons I had just mentioned. Why will motion detect not stay on? 
and it does have the option because it lights up and you can turn it and click it on because it starts out as off you click it on it'll go on but as soon as you get out of the out of the menu it shuts it back off so I gotta figure that out and again the night vision there's no night vision it, it says it does and it has the option it will click on the option it does have the IR light right there on it to um, to do the night vision but it's uh, it just doesn't work it doesn't work now I need to find out why but for 20 bucks I cannot complain um, because of the last $20 one we bought you guys seen it it really really sucks now as far as the audio syncing I don't know for sure if it will sync or not but when I checked it on here it did looking through here it did sync with this so I don't know if it will sync once it's imported onto the PC uh, but you can hear us in the background and so I don't know if it synced real well or not but it seemed to be pretty close see like right now I have it on focus the little little icon up there that's the Sun and to change it okay to change it you just hit that button and as you can see see that light is on and it's off that's this is daytime and that's nighttime so I mean but like I said, at night it does not uh, make it, it, it's just like it's pitch black. So if there's not headlights coming at you, you're not going to see, uh, you know, anything like a deer or something, you know. So if you hit a deer at night, if it doesn't pick it up in headlights, you're not going to see it. But again, for, for, for 20 bucks, I would rather pay, say, 30 bucks and have that option working. But again... I'm getting I'm giving it two thumbs up and three and a half uh, bear claws for uh, what else can I say about it uh, it's great I mean it charges quick and it does work great now the other the other camera the other $20 camera the as seen on TV camera that we had in the truck for a while when you shut the truck off it just kept recording until the battery went dead and then when you started it up it would start recording okay and it didn't have, um, it did not have the, um, oh shoot, what do you call it, the screen saver. So, you can adjust it. Once it was on for a couple minutes, it just, the screen shut off. Now, it did keep recording, but the screen just shut off. This one has uh, four settings. You can have the screen on all the time, which they call it the screen saver. You can have it on all the time. Or there's three other settings up to like 20 minutes or something like that uh, I can't remember wait I can, I can tell you right now but so you can have it on all the time you can, but you can have it to shut off that way at night it's not like blaring in your face although I used it tonight with it on when I was driving monkey's truck and it it didn't bother me a bit I mean the uh, your your GPS them things are bright this thing I didn't it, it didn't take my eyes to it. It it, it was it was fine. Um, but give me a second here and I'll tell you exactly what the options are on that. Okay, let's go to um Okay. One second. And oh, like I said, the G sensor. If it if you're in a crash and it bumps it, it automatically saves that file. It did work because I'll show you when I tried it. I'll sh you know, so I'll show a couple clips from this. Well, you probably already seen it. Why am I doing it? But um, it it does you it does uh it it did automatically show the lock icon, the key light, the the key icon that it did lock that file and it did on my computer when I imported it it did come up as that so alright you got um, okay here it is if you shut the screensaver off that means that's going to be on all the time 
or you can set it to three minutes that'll be on for three minutes and shut off or five minutes and shut off or ten minutes and then it shuts off so it's black but this uh, that little blue light right there when it's recording it'll blink so that way even when this is off you know it's recording if that little blue light is blinking so yeah all in all I'm very happy with it for 20 bucks because I was expecting to pay for what this does I was expecting to pay 50 70 bucks for one like this so um, and Craig is, is pretty good in my opinion you know that's up for debate on you know what experiences you've had with a company like that but or with uh, with Craig but like TVs and stuff I've had stereos from them I've always had good luck with them you know maybe I'm just lucky maybe not whatever but uh, yeah two thumbs up what do, you, what do you think monkey she's seen the clarity of it and everything I like it yeah she likes it too so this will be the main one the second one we're thinking about um, doing a giveaway on it's not that great so I kind of feel bad about giving away but if you want it let me know maybe we'll do a giveaway on that and you guys can do your own um, video on on a review of it and besides it's free I mean it's better than nothing right you know nowadays people pulling out in front of me and stuff so anyway um, I like it. she likes it if you guys want one Walmart 1995 there it is right there uh, well worth it it's worth it for anybody I mean it's easy to use so it's user friendly it's you know it, it it comes with the memory card you know memory cards are expensive nowadays it goes right in that little hole right there can you see that um it's a micro mini card see there it is just sticks in and you can take it out without taking this off the windshield and i took it off the windshield to bring it in so i can talk about it on here and show you what i was talking about but uh anyway so there you go um it's it's a great little unit the suction cup works fantastic it's spectacular and i can't do it on my hand but you know and it's very versatile 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 you know i mean it it will you know you can you know whatever it's awesome so it'll fit i'm guessing any windshield because you know i mean so there you go it's real easy to clip on like this you have your lever down turn the slide on again you have your lever down and you stick it on your windshield push your lever up and it's got suction and then when you want to take it off you flip that down and right here is a little well you can't see it maybe if I use my phone yeah see that little tab there and you flip it just kinda in that little tab like that it'll pop right off the windshield awesome gadget so 20 bucks yes you're looking for a cheap one uh, you know your you know your budget is really not allowing for it it'll allow for this don't do the as seen on TV one it really sucks it really sucks bad it sucks horseshit and I hate it it's two thumbs down zero bear claws on that and zero monkey paws on that but on this one, yes, we how many monkey paws you give this one so far? Three. She gives it three. So awesome. And that's so far. And we only just tried it out tonight in a few hour drive. Um, so I like it. Very versatile. So there you go. In my opinion, you know, your results may vary, I gotta say that, or I'm gonna get well, I bought it and I thought it sucked. Yeah, well, you're used to having a $150 dash cam, whatever. But for people like us that, that are on budgets and really can't afford to just go buy something like that, 20 bucks, hell yes. Go pick you up one at Walmart. Awesome. Um, so, with that being said, I'm going to say goodbye. Monkey? Yeah? You going to say out? I'm out. Okay, monkey's out. Uh, she just got shower. It's late. It's 1.30 a.m. Uh, we just finished up our live feed, our first live feed of 2019. So she got her, she had her shower. Uh, she went in. She's going to have her snack. And I figure she'll be asleep here before long while I'm editing this video. So I'm going to say uh, 
again, Shea Bear 1000. Uh, I'm gone for now. Remember the myth, the man, the legend. Vote Shea Bear for president. <laughs> so, guys, thanks for watching us. <coughs> Excuse me. And thanks for uh, joining us on the... Uh, oh, thanks for watching my uh, first vlog of 2019. And also special thanks to those who joined us on the uh, first uh, live stream of... 2019 so that being said again night guys have a good one or a good day wherever you're at um and uh we'll see you in the next one all right take care guys be kind to one another and see you soon bye bye now